All right, we're going to uh, start up the machine, run our Pittsburgh center flanges.
to do here by hand because I didn't have the machine set up correctly. But it's been a while. Okay, now I'm cross breaking each piece. And I do this after the, uh, the edges because I don't want to get into any more problems than it already has. I was able to that find a sweet spot and it's no problem with this. I was able just to spring out a little bit of the problem with it, the machine running off and run it through again, and I was able to fix it like that without having to go to the trouble of doing all that with a pair of winding pliers. So I was happy about that. It took a bunch of time. Cross-breaking it now because this is a return. I don't want it to pop in. Alright, now I'm going to form rails here. This is the inside. Off and tighten the slip roll down more and more as I go. This is, this is the outside rail, of course. Like uh, I got to get this right, the outside in one pass. That was luck. I have no idea the machine. I didn't know where it was set. Been a little bit beyond 90 is right where I want because I've got to spread those Pittsburghs apart. Yeah, it's going to need some adjustment. So. Alright, I'm going to spread these Pittsburgh's parts. 